Number four, understand the syntax. Understand the syntax. Get used to the syntax, right? So you need to see what real exam questions are worded like. I've seen my own classmates fail, not because they did not understand the material, but because they weren't well versed in the wording of the questions. However, you can avoid this from happening by reviewing the questions. Sometimes on those, what is the best step or what steps should be taken first type questions, the answer that CompTIA is looking for may not seem like the right answer in your opinion, but unfortunately, they're not asking for your opinion. They just want you to answer the question their way and that's why i say it's standardized testing right so go through the review questions and see what the correct answers are because you're going to learn okay maybe the way that you would do something and you would go about resolving an issue is not the way that they, they want you to do it you have to learn the way that they want you to do it and once you do that you're going to be set you can be an extremely smart student but still do poorly on the exam because you weren't prepared for the format of the questions and how they'd be asked preparation on the syntax is just as important as the knowledge of the content from the course objectives for a recap there's no shortcuts you gotta put the time in you gotta put you gotta put all right let's recap remember there are no shortcuts you gotta put the time in but doing it right the first time will save you time in the long run that's what my tips are designed to do to help you be efficient with your study habits it's my unique perspective which hopefully can shine a light on the exam in a new way that inspires you to take it and to succeed so remember my four steps number one learn how to learn find your style and use it to be efficient in your journey number two find accountability helps you to be disciplined number three obsess over over the material check out my favorite youtube teachers in my description and number four be able to explain the course objectives and understand the exam syntax well there you have it this is how i went from being a beginner intermediate computer user to a fully certified it support technician i can truly tell you the a plus certification has changed my life i went from working a minimum wage job at the beginning of this year to making ten dollars more per hour in my it support role please 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 consider taking the exam and reach out to Prescolis because you can learn and get certified for free for free. And if you found any of this insightful, please like the video, leave a comment, share with a friend. I want to know what was your CompTIA experience like? Did you pass? Let the IT community know and let us support you in that way. Remember to subscribe as I'll be putting out more content related to the field of IT in the next few weeks. Some things I have lined up are interviews with my friends who are working in areas of computer science and IT, talking about their experiences, how they got in, what they like, what they don't like. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button and stay in touch. Good luck on your exam and I'll see you here again next week. Boom, we did it.